In my hand, I hold the magical power of donuts right here. <laughs> Little bit of hair. I don't know whose hair is on my eyelash. Because we got this. <coughs> Where did that come from? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. Uh, that's Scotty. Uh, it's super hot outside here in Hong Kong today. It is Dragon Boat Festival. So happy Dragon Boat Festival to all you guys around the world. Don't go outside, stay at home, turn on your AC. And yeah, let's forget about the heat. I should actually be reviewing that Lego set. But you know what? This is so cool. I couldn't pass this up. So I'll do that one later. Let's look at this. So this little baby that you're seeing right here, you know it's from Oxford Block. And you're going, damn it, Scotty. Why are you going to review this one? It costs too much. Sorry, man. I love it. Look at this thing. It's genius how they built this set. So check it out. So this is Oxford Block's Krispy Kreme Donuts. You know what? We've done another Krispy Kreme before. So I'm just gonna call this Krispy Kreme Donuts. 2019 maybe? I don't know. Anyway, it's limited edition. No idea how many pieces there are. I always say this Oxford Block's my favorite set. This one's my favorite set. For the size and scale of this one, I think this is probably another one of my favorites on a small scale. Every set I review, I just tend to say they're my favorite. Now, if you wanna buy the set, you're probably complaining about the price already. It should be available on BreakMeUpScotty.com by now. We have a limited run. You know, you can probably go on eBay and try to find it on there and be like, why is the price so expensive? It is limited, man. But they got the exclusive rights to use the name. But we do have stock here in the office. Look, I even have the box. Here's the box. I will show you this big box because it is so lovely. Look at that. It's an Oxford Block cardboard box. Yeah, 10 pieces. I think we have a little bit more than 10, but they're all here. Look at that. Stacks on stacks on stacks. More stacks. One of these could be yours. Here's the back side, front and back. Look at that. Beautiful box. It looks like a Krispy Kreme box. Can somebody please send me some Krispy Kreme donuts? They closed them down here in Hong Kong. Dang it. I'm gonna hoard these up. I'm gonna mark them up and be like, ha you can't afford them. I'm just kidding, man. It's me, Scotty. I won't do that to you guys. But okay, let's look at this thing. You know, it's so small, it feels really intimate. It feels very comfortable. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So this set does have too many figures. I'm going to pull them to the side here. So we move them out of the way. I'm going to start with the street sign first. Check this out. Yeah, the street sign is pretty cool. Now those are stickers on the top, by the way. It says Krispy Kreme donuts on the manual on the box. It shows that it is white, but here it is transparent. It would have been nice to have been white in the back so you can see the Krispy Kreme sign a little bit better. It's blending in a bit with a transparent Plate, but the sticker quality is really, really good. So we'll put this back over here. We'll start on the front here. Well, it's not really much to start with. It's one big giant front. The cool thing about this is it actually looks like the stall. And you know, it's like a giant Krispy Kreme box, right? How neat is that? Now, if we look at the front here, you got a couple duels here. Of course, the minifigures can slide off that, so it's not studded. Minor thing. But what I really like is they raise the stool up. They use this little steering wheel piece. You can see that. So it makes the seat look a little bit higher and the table raised as well. I really like that. I think that's a really good height. Then we come to the stall here where it says made fresh daily. If I rotate it here for you guys a little bit, you guys can kind of get the idea there. Everything that you see that has a little green polka dot is a sticker. I'm really sorry. That was kind of like, oh, I wish it was printed. Again, it's limited edition, so it's probably easier for them to print stickers than it is to actually print it on a tile. Swing it around the back there. It's all open in the back. Look at that. You even got a sticker there, Krispy Kreme. So back to the front here, it's all tiled on the front. It is not tiled on the inside because it's so small. So on the front here, you got a countertop and here's a tile with your donuts inside. That is a sticker, by the way. Yeah, it's still a nice quality sticker. All the stickers on here are nice quality. I just have to minor nitpick that these stickers here that go along here and on the sides. They're like really long stickers. You got to be really careful putting those on because man, I keep sucking and it doesn't go on perfectly. Ah, you have to keep repeeling it and it gets worse and worse each time you do it. They only have one set of stickers, so, you know, that kind of sucks. Or don't put the, no, you need to put the stickers on this one because it's, it's Krispy Kreme, man. Look at the countertop, very simple, but I like it. They got a menu there. The sticker there is actually pretty detailed. It says dozen, but I can't quite read the fine print. Maybe we'll see that better in the close-up. Next to that, you got some jam, I'm guessing. That's jam or shake. Korean fans, I need your help, man. The strawberry something and banana something. It can't be banana jam, it's gotta be juice then. Got some nice cake on there. Got a chocolate cake, cheesecake, and then you got three donuts in the window. Again, those are all stickers, even on the cake. Those are stickers there, but the quality is nice. 
Look at that powdered donut. But the donuts look really appetizing. I'm supposed to lay off that stuff, man. I want to eat it right now. So bad. And then you come to this side here, which is interesting. They have like two extra delivery boxes there for your to-go donuts. There's a cashier screen there. You can see the amount of money you're spending on them donuts. So that's kind of cool. So along the back counter, we got two machines that are like coffee machines. We're starting to see the same objects that we have seen in other sets. I'm guessing that's blending coffee beans. No, or is that milkshake? Maybe that's chocolate milkshake. I'm not sure. And that's a coffee machine. There are some small drawers and some cabinets as well. There's nothing in them, but that's cool that they're there. You can probably stash more donuts inside if you have extra ones. You got a mug here and the mug actually has a sticker on it. Man, it's a really small sticker and more small stickers there of extra donuts and another to go box. That is it, it's really super small, right? And then we swing to the back here and you can see the Krispy Kreme sticker. You see, I did a crap job on that one. You have another, like the lid part of the box design here, more polka dot stickers on both sides there. And on the sign here on the top, it's also another sticker. Sorry dudes and dudettes, all stickers. And yeah, that kind of sucks again that these stickers will cover your tiles. So it's gonna be one time that you put it on, you're gonna have to keep it like this. Imagine this being strips of stickers. That would suck, man. Hitches Dimension Times. Here we go. It's pretty small, this guy. By length, it is 16 studs. Yeah, let's check the width. The width is also 16 studs. 16 by 16. Let's put this on the base plate and see what it looks like. There you go, it's right in the middle of the base plate. Plenty of room to do other stuff around it. And just so you know, it's actually set on two plates underneath. I'll put this back down. And for the height, let's check the height. Okay, break out your one by four bricks. If I put it right here, it's pretty close. It might be slightly higher. Yeah, it's probably pushing the sign there. It's around 10 bricks in height. Now, if we do the sign on the other side, and that's around 11 bricks in height. Put that right there. There you go. There's your dimensions. Now go get some donuts. Okay, as I mentioned before, set comes with two minifigures. Here's the guy. He looks super happy to be working here at Krispy Kreme. Unfortunately, his apron that you're seeing right there, it looks kind of dirty. Uh, that is a sticker. I just wish that was a printing, but oh well. Print on his face looks fine, very simple, and he's wearing this dark green solid shirt, so there's no printing underneath. And that is Stein and Decker. Stein and Decker. I hope I can say that name right. I'm so sorry you don't have Oxford in Germany. I wish you did. People have been ordering from us. So to all the fans in Germany that want Oxford block, you can actually still get it, but they are a little bit expensive. But Stein, there you are. I hope I said your name right. And we got this lovely lady, and surprisingly, her top is printed. Red polka dot. So she's probably being reused on another set. But here she is. Printing on her body and her face looks totally fine, but on a torso there, look, there's a little piece of plastic that kind of sticks out and must have been from the machine when they're printing this thing. But anyway, there she is. And you know what? As always, I'm scared to name these because I don't know your usernames and your gender. I'm guessing most of you guys out there are males. So if there are any females out there that would like to be named, please do let me know in the comments. For right now, this represents all you ladies that watch this channel, which is probably not a lot. But there you are, looking ready to eat your donuts. Go eat them. Drop test time. Okay, I'm gonna move the sign, I'll put it there. I'll move the box, I'll put it there. I'll move the girl here, and I'll leave the guy in there. He's down on the stud, let's see if he holds up. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it this high, it's small. I don't think it's gonna fall apart, I hope not. So what makes this set extra special is the fact that it can close down. It's just kind of an added thing in there, but it's actually neat that they did that. So if I pull this back, this thing can actually swing all the way back like that. The extra boxes here of donuts can fold down like so, it's not neat. And the two pillars that are holding up the sides there can go down as well. And then this can close all the way to the front. It might catch a little bit on the cheesecakes. Pull it up a little bit there like that, and it closes down just like that, fold up the sign, and you are officially closed for the night. Now, it comes off really easy too. When you're putting it together, it's actually really fun. You can pull the whole thing out like that. So, there you go. Oh, I pulled out the pillar on that side, but it's fine, the little stud there. But there's just an idea. You can stash bits and pieces of your candy or donuts in there. Yeah, just gotta make sure you remember to eat it. And then, we'll pull this open so you can see this, like so. Then you actually just 
grip this part right here, the counter, pull it back, and take this piece out. There's the boxes. There. What a clever design that is. That is good, look at that. Very cool, I like this concept. It is really small, expensive. Yeah, it's limited, man. I can't help you guys there. Here, I'm gonna put this all back together to show you how easy it is. Slot this in there. Push it like that. Open this up first, like that. You can see there. And then when you put it up, you just line it to the poles here. And it'll slide in just fine, like that. And then you push it down, like so. Get your donut orders here. And slide it to the side. Put the worker inside, like that. Put the extra box of donuts on this table. Put the lady there. And then swing this piece back up, like that. And that is it, man. Super small. I absolutely love it. It is available. Go get yours on my site, brickmeupscotty.com, or anywhere else if you think we're too expensive. It's fine, man. Go find it on eBay. Good luck to y'all out there. But if you get it from me, I might throw in an extra something special. I don't know. Because I'm Scotty, man. Anyway, thanks so much. There's nothing else more to say. So I'm going to jump to the next video. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later, all right? Until next time, pick me up. Are you hungry? Because now I'm getting hungry. Where's my donut? Scotty, feed me. Forget Transformers, man. This is the only thing that you need that will transform for you. Crispy cream more than meets the donuts. <laughs> Me. We are open for business. Hey, Scotty, you want a donut? Come on, you know you want your donut, man. I don't want a donut. You know you do. Where's Deer? Oh, yeah, that's right. Deer, where are you, Deer? I probably went out to get some real donuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is kind of cool. I can lay it like this, make it like an Inception style thing going on. This is the donut shop, upside down. Comparison time, I'm gonna break your heart and say it already. Oh, it's not much I can really compare this to because all my Oxford blocks are actually stored away right now. I'm cleaning up the office. I gotta do one project. I had to clear all my stuff out here. But you know, they'll all come back. But I have a couple of sets around. Let me see what do I have. I still gotta review this one. Here, Emmett's house. So you guys can kind of see Emmett's house from the Lego store there. They are cross compatible with each other. Yeah, that's the front of the house. But now the problem is this looks way bigger than the house. But anyway, there's Emmett's house. So this is the game store from Oxford Block. This is absolutely one of my favorites and probably one of the other reasons why I started to do this channel. <sighs> it's collecting dust though. You put it side by side like that. There. Or there on that on the front screen there. You can get an idea of the scale of it. This is big. I love this joystick, man. Because once I do this video, I gotta work on this one and you guys want it really fast. I didn't want to show it right now, but here you go. This is also brand new from Oxford Block. It's called I Idea Coffee. I Idea, Idea, Idea Coffee. I can tell you right now, this thing is actually really, really awesome. I know you're gonna want to see it. Come on, please, Scotty, put this one out faster. Okay, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get out of here and review this one right now. But just so you guys can see, there's the Krispy Kreme shop and the Idea coffee shop, you get an idea. Look at this thing, it's beautiful. Okay, all right, let me work on this one now. See ya. How dare you disrupt my penis videos? I'm gonna eat more donuts just because of that. Hmm, what you got over here? Chocolate donut, cherry filling donut. I have no idea what that donut is. It looks nasty. There's gotta be something else here in the front. Ooh, powdered donut. That's more like it. I cannot understand what you're saying. But we need you, man. You get back in the next video. <laughs> Are you eating that donut? <laughs> I can't believe you ate that donut, man. It's Scotty's donut. He needs that for the review. Ah, that was so good. It doesn't matter anymore. The review's finished. Hey, you should try this chocolate cake out. It's really good. Well, now that big Scotty's not here, that does look really appetizing. Mm, don't mind if I do. All right, you guys, while we pick up, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back. Our adventures will be starting soon. Right, Scotty? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get to those campers at some point. <laughs>
I don't know when. Let's just enjoy this while we can, man. A lot of food here. Alright, bye-bye now. See y'all later.